good morning friends so in this lecture video we are going to discuss about what is meant by vibration and what are all the limitation as well as advantages of a system to be under vibratory motion so components present in a machinery are tending to move from its equilibrium position under the action of external loading condition that phenomena is defined as vibration so in order to reduce vibration in industries several techniques are being followed so with the aid of uh, vibration observers and vibration isolation techniques are being followed in order to reduce vibration in machineries but in some cases vibration is a desirable phenomenon too uh, for example in case of mechanical stirrer as well as uh, in case of conveyors vibration is a desirable phenomenon so various terms used in vibratory motion the basic terms used in vibratory motion as period of vibration that is a complete cycle taken by a vibratory motion or oscillation motion is termed as period of vibration uh, the unit of period of vibration is seconds the second term is frequency that is the number of cycles described per unit time of vibratory motion is defined as frequency uh, the unit of frequency is hertz natural frequency if a, a system is vibrating under the influence of an initial disturbing force the vibratory motion is termed as natural vibration the frequency attained by the object under natural uh, vibration is termed as natural frequency uh, the denotion for natural frequency is f suffix f so if uh, the external uh, frequency reaches the value of natural frequency under the external loading condition uh, the system uh, will vibrate vibrantly critically so that phenomenon is termed as resonance condition so at resonance condition evlo uh, speed la unoda uh, rotating part rotate aayirukko that speed is called as critical speed so then to avoid the amplitude of vibration in every cycle so vibrator uh, vibratory motion avoid pandradukaga or reduce pandradukaga dampers or dash parts will be used in systems so adile how much amount of damping force has being produced is being provided to the system with the aid of dampers per unit velocity appingirad the damping coefficient the unit for damping coefficient is newton per meter per second the denotion for damping coefficient is c then the damping coefficient at the critical speed condition is termed as critical damping coefficient cc is equal to 2 m omega i where omega i is the angular frequency which is nothing but the measure of angular displacement per unit time it is otherwise known as radial frequency or circular frequency omega n can be calculated using the formula root of s by m where s is the stiffness of the vibratory object omega n is equal to root of g by del where del is the deflection due to the vibratory motion so natural frequency is angular frequency divided by the entire cycle that is 2 pi so f1 is equal to 1 by 2 pi root of s by m root of g by del or 1 by 2 pi omega n so the ratio between the damping coefficient as well as critical damping coefficient is termed as damping ratio or damping factor logarithmic decrement is defined as the natural logarithm of the amplitude reduction factor del is equal to natural logarithm of the successive amplitudes of vibration xn by x xn plus 1 or del is equal to 1 by n log e of x not by xn where n is the number of cycles being considered x not is the initial amplitude xn is the number of cycle for example at nth cycle what is the amplitude del is equal to 2 pi eta divided by root of 1 minus eta square where c eta is the damping ratio magnification factor is the ratio of maximum displacement of the forced vibration to the deflection due to the static force so these are all the terms used in vibratory motion thank you